All right, let's get a direct response from the man himself, Mr. Donald Trump, real estate magnate, star of The Apprentice, joining us this morning on the phone. Mr. Trump, it's Chris Cuomo. Can you hear me? Hi, Chris. Certainly I can. All right, good to hear your voice. Sorry nice it's to, about nice this. Nice to talk to you again, Chris. Um, the Attorney General from New York, it sounds like he's saying you're fired when it comes to this Trump University. Are you worried? Uh, we have a and had a great school. The school did a terrific job. 98% approved. Of course, he doesn't mention this. We sort of gave a report card on ourselves to every student that took the course. We had a 98%. If you go to Wharton, if you go to Harvard, they don't have a 98% approval rating. We had a 98% approval rating, Chris. People loved the school. The school was terrific. And we got sued uh, for lots of different reasons. Primarily, he wants to get publicity. He was angry that I didn't give him the kind of cut. You know, they were soliciting, Chris. I don't know if you know this. Uh, your brother would know much better. Uh, but they were soliciting us during the investigation for campaign contributions to our attorney general, who's a total lightweight, by the way. You know that. I know that. I don't. Wait, hold Your on a second. Hold on a second. That. Hold on a second. Don't He's say what. Don't say what I know, Mr. He's Trump. He's an incompetent attorney general. I, I figured you. he could get some publicity on Trump's back. The bottom line is, the school was very, very successful. We didn't think we were going to get sued because of the fact that we have a 98% approval rating. You know, Chris, you can go on television at night and you see all these different schools mm -hmm. and all these different characters on television talking about get rich and do this and do that. Our school was terrific. We had wonderful people. All right. And it's a shame. All right, let me get in for a second, Mr. Trump. Don't get me in trouble. You can say whatever you want about the AG, but that's your opinion. Uh, we asked him about the approval rating. He likened it to a Ponzi scheme, like the Madoff scam, and said, hey, often when people are getting fleeced, they don't know it, and they say they like the system that they're in. That was the analogy to uh, Trump Chris, University. Give me a break. Give me a break. Look, you mean 98% of the people were told with a machine gun to their head to sign something saying it was great. These were people that were given papers. Please, would you report on the school? Was it good? Was it okay? Was it poor? What did you think? We had a 98% approval rating at the high level, at the high level. In other words, people loved it. And not only that, we have a blank uh, page underneath to write comments. They would write comments that were so beautiful about the school. And the school was terrific. There are schools, I'm sure, that maybe could be looked into. Why isn't he looking into John Corzine, where there's a billion four missing, and John Corzine he doesn't look into? Or all of the people that got fleeced by Wall Street and everyone? He doesn't do that. He looks at a school with a 98% approval rating. What do you think about the suggestion that you made about this the timing being about when the attorney general met with President Obama. Were you reaching a little bit there? No, I'm not reaching, and I don't know. Maybe it's a mini IRS, and maybe it's not. And I'm not accusing the president, certainly, of anything. But it was sort of interesting, because I've been doing this stuff a long time, and I've been dealing with government a long time. He met with President Obama on Thursday night in Syracuse. He filed the case on Saturday afternoon at 1 o'clock. Now, I've been dealing with government. You've known all about government. You're in a family of people in government. I've never heard of a government filing a case. This is a civil case filing a case on a Saturday afternoon. I've never heard of that before. The timing, the timing of the filing of the case is one issue, but you don't really believe the President of the United States was talking to the New York Attorney General about bringing suit against you, do you? I have no idea. Look, maybe it's a mini IRS. I am a Republican. Uh, I'm proud to be a Republican. I have been a critic. By the way, I'd love to be a fan of the president. If things would work out, I would be a fan. If he, if, if he were doing a great job, I'd be standing up as a Republican saying he's doing a great job. It's just not working out that way, unfortunately. But he met with the president. And, Chris, he filed a case on a Saturday afternoon. I've never heard of a case being filed on a Saturday afternoon. If you look at government records, see how many civil cases are filed on a Saturday afternoon. Right. He says uh, it's a non-issue. Maybe you would never be able to find one. He says it's a non-issue. But let me, uh, let me ask you this, Mr. Trump. I know you've got a busy day. Uh, you are very aggressive. When somebody comes at you, you come at them twice as hard. Uh, all of us in the media know that. This ain't the media. This is the attorney general of the state of New York. You think it's time to listen to your lawyers and just... Keep it uh, low profile for a while before you get somebody with a lot of power very angry at you? No, I don't care. I don't care. I've had people angry at me all my life. I mean, this is the way I lead my life. I'm a very honest person. I say what's on my mind. 
if I thought I was guilty of, you know, I could have settled this case very easily. It was a very easy case to settle. They wanted to settle. I could have settled it. I chose not to. They actually thought I'd settle because I wouldn't want to take bad publicity. I'm used to bad publicity. I get plenty of it. I get plenty of good, too, but I get bad publicity. No, I, I have to. The truth is we have 98 percent. We have a lot of happy students. They'll all be testifying. We'll get many, many, many people to testify about how they loved it. And we'll see what happens. I mean, we're just going to see what happens. But, no, I don't have any qualms about that at all.